the close-knit community of Devonport in Tasmania is this morning trying to come to terms with yesterday's fatal jumping castle incident at that primary school and a warning some viewers might find the details in this story distressing. The unimaginable tragedy has deepened overnight with the death of a fifth child. Four others are still being treated in hospital. They were among a group of students who fell around 10 metres when a gust of wind lifted a jumping castle and inflatable balls into the air at an end of year celebration at Hillcrest Primary School. Tributes and financial support are this morning pouring in from locals and around the country. Reporter Liz Gwynn joins us now from the school. And Liz, we woke this morning to more devastating news. We did, Lisa. It's absolutely heartbreaking. A child was taken to hospital in a critical condition yesterday and has sadly passed away last night. So that brings the death toll from yesterday's accident to five. And we know that two boys and two girls were killed in yesterday's accident when a jumping castle and several Zorb balls became airborne. They fell from a height of around 10 metres yesterday morning at about 10 o'clock. Now, this has just been absolutely devastating for the community. We've had a lot of locals out here today showing their support. No doubt this tragedy will be felt in the community for some time to come. I spoke to local Devonport resident Nathaniel Whiteley. Here's what he had to say a little earlier today. It's going to be an unfortunate memory that's going to be embedded in the school for years and you just can't take that away. My whole heart just sunk and got cold shivers through my body and it's just so sad to hear. Liz, we're starting to get more information about the young victims. We are